Nothing was done to educate the grassroots women in our society on the economic value of women's work in the home, which has an impact on employment and the labor force participation. It appears that the Inter-Ministerial Committee of Women Affairs has not revised the national policy on women to conquer women's work. They are very silent on this issue and the recognition of domestic workers. These feminist women in the government are the greatest obstacles to our progress. Mm. <laughs> the media are also playing the game because these middle class feminists, when they put anything on the papers, they will put it. Before I left, one week before I came here, I put about four press releases and none happened to come out that I could have get to bring here today at the conference. Nude is not only fighting for domestic workers, it also represents many categories of workers that other unions are not representing. This includes people working in fast foods, outlets, bakeries, other establishments as cooks, Cleaners, waitress, dishwashers, maid, cleaners, bottlers, barmen, and barwomen, handymen, cashers, receptionists, and laundry washers. These people came to nude to take up their cases when they are dealt, dwelt with on early by their bosses. Finally, on the 24th of October, United Nations Day, we celebrate Time Out for Women, calling on government for the implementation of 1985 United Nations decision that governments concurrent on wage work in the home, on the land, and in the community, and every ghost national government. I extend power to the International Wages for Household Campaign. Long live the International Wages for Household Campaign. Power to the sisters, power to the brothers.